First, it sounded crazy. A human foot had been mailed to Conservative Party headquarters. His torso was found stuffed in a suitcase. On a... The suspect is a 29-year-old model and self-styled porn actor named Luca Rocco Magnotta. The most we know about Luca Magnotta... This guy was a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's me again, the host, the host of OFL, aka Our Founding Liars, if you don't like the acronym. How are you today? You doing good? I hope you're doing good. I want to let you know about this documentary I just watched. This documentary entitled, uh, Don't F Two Asterix K with Cats. I think the F Asterix K is an expletive, but it seems like the official title is, uh, you know, the Asterix one. Here's the thing. The documentary was good. I'm not going to lie. It was a little brutal. Don't watch if you got a squeamish stomach or if you like animals. Why? Uh, it's about this serial killer kind of guy and his journey from, uh, you know, killing small animals like cats to graduating to the art of manslaughter. Of course, he's Canadian. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing. The guy is a jerk. Uh, that's not what I want to talk about. What do I want to talk about? Uh, I just... I, let me tell you something. My channel is not a political channel whatsoever. Uh, once you start talking bipartisan type talk, you start distracting from the main issue. If I was talking about Republicans or Democrats, you would not be talking about reptilians, you know, which is what like my whole channel is dedicated to uh, defeating. You know, they're on both sides. So with that in mind, I, I'm, I'm, I'm neutral. Okay. Now, Netflix has been accused from time and time again of being a little more on the uh, left side. This is not news. Uh, Netflix, Rotten Tomatoes, you've heard these stories, you know, that um, there might be a uh, progressive bias. Is that wrong? I don't know. I mean, like, everybody's got an opinion. I'm, I understand that it's hard to, uh, you know, not show your opinion when you're working on something. Uh, it's the folly of mankind. But here's the thing. Uh, I noticed it pretty hard in this documentary. Let me tell you something. Mr. Donald J. Trump, you know him, he's the uh, President of the United States, uh, recently passed an act, an act that banned the filming and distribution of crush videos, animal crush videos. Thank you all for being here today. I'm pleased to sign the Preventing Animal Cruelty and Torture Act into law. Animal cruelty. This common sense legislation restricts the creation and distribution of videos or images of animal torture. It is important that we combat these heinous and sadistic acts of cruelty, which are totally unacceptable in a civilized society. I, I ask the same question I asked for another bill that we just signed. Why hasn't it ha this happened a long time ago? Right? Yeah. And I give you the same answer because Trump wasn't president. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crush videos. What's an Animal Crush video? An Animal Crush video is what it sounds like. Uh, filming of a uh, animal being hurt for the pleasure of some dark web viewer. Kind of weird, kind of messed up. Now, um, what is, what, what, so what, what does that have to do with this? If you watch this video, they show snippets of, uh, you know, of the videos this killer filmed. Now, they don't show the death blow, per se, but what they do is they show you enough so you get the feeling like you might as well see the death blow at that point because, like, you know, you see the desperation in the cat's eyes and stuff. It's pretty crazy. So, with that in mind, the president just signed this bill that is, like, the first crazy great step uh, against animal cruelty, and then Netflix undermines him by showing us, you know, these videos that are supposedly illegal. So, I think Netflix is a, a treasonous platform that should be brought down and perhaps, uh, you know, should be tried for moral corruption because they're showing these clips of these videos to let us know that it's okay to distribute them as long as it's in a platform with a two-hour program as opposed to a 15-second one. Does that make sense? Don't F with cats. Don't F with, uh, you know, if you, if you really didn't F with cats, you wouldn't be showing the videos in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Keep asking questions, man. Netflix, maybe, I think Netflix might be, uh, I don't, you know what, these accusations might, might get a little out of hand, but I think Netflix might be, um, running Maybe they're the ones distributing the animal. Ah, I 
shouldn't say anything. I shouldn't say anything. Listen, keep asking questions. Okay? Thank you.